Cora's here with us. She's going to be chatting to us later on about a very worthy cause in Cape Town. She is, and she's looking fantastic. <laughs> Look beautiful. Just Three months old baby. I don't know how you do it. <laughs> Breathe in. <laughs> and Eugene will be answering all your gardening queries very, very soon. But first of all, I'm going to... The kitchen heat is back. But when you taste that for the first time, you kind of go, whoa. Now, in 2002, <laughs> property mogul Niall Mellon, oh. while visiting South Africa, was so moved by scenes of destitution and hardship that he set up the Niall Mellon Trust, which was, has since built over, listen to this, 3,500 houses in the area. And this year, they're set to top that by 5,000 homes, which is pretty pretty impressive. We'll talk to him soon to find out how they're getting on. Here with me is Sharon Corr, supporter of the charity, and Dawn Aston, artist and volunteer. You're both very welcome. Thank you. Thank, Thank you for coming in. Sharon, how did you get involved? Um, well, in 2003, uh, we were flying, the band that is flying to South Africa to do um, the 46664 Nelson Mandela AIDS Foundation concert. Yeah, and I remember it well. um, our manager John met Niall on the plane and Niall was telling John what he's up to and then John introduced him to us. Um, so I think literally the next day we went down to the township to see, you know, what was going and on. And it wasn't on the, the uh, schedule, it wasn't planned, oh it was God, just no, impromptu, no. which is great. Yeah. yeah, no, we just wanted to see what was, you know, what, what he was doing and thought it was an amazing idea just for one guy to think up and go, I'm going to do something I about know. this, what I'm seeing, you know. I know, and I think it was the fact that nobody asked him to do it, he just went there and realize I have to do something about this. Well I think that's what's really great about it and it shows you sort of the power of you know the possible and, and that you actually one person can make a oh difference yeah. because he is inspired now it's 1,350 volunteers to go down this year and Brilliant. in a week they will build 200 houses and house 1,200 people but throughout the year they will actually build 5,000 houses and they're, they're you know they're also training people from the local community to build their own houses so it's when you hear project. about South Africa you hear about just the plight of AIDS and how bad it is and the amount of babies born with AIDS and yeah. I know Marion Finucane is involved with a charity yeah. herself trying to help these people yeah. it's great to see that Niall is trying them trying to help them to help themselves yeah to build their homes yeah well I mean it's just a very practical idea mm. I mean, yes. we will build you a home and at the end of the week you will have a something home. we take for granted oh absolutely I mean and if you you know, when you see the sort of scenes of poverty and, and you know, deprivation on the TV, it doesn't transcend. But when we were actually there, I mean, I was shocked and, and wept because, it, it, you know, you see little babies. I mean, I myself have a three and a half month old baby and the idea that my baby could be brought up in those conditions, you're surrounded by raw sewage. Mm. You're, you but know, at least awful. you, you know, I mean, it's one thing being affected and coming home and saying to yourself, that's terrible, and the next time a charity box is in front of me, I put money into it. But you got involved, yeah. and your husband got involved. My husband, yeah, I mean, <laughs> he actually was coming over to Africa to surprise me. And he met, independently of me, met the builders in, in the lobby of the hotel and met some of them in the gym, and they said, oh, you have to come, o come over and help us out. So totally independently, he ended up in the town. There he is, to prove that he's working out there look at him he's yeah. flying out tonight isn't that right he's flying out tonight Jen this is his fifth time out there and he's very very involved in the charity it's brilliant so it's he's, absolutely he's, brilliant. he's great we'll be sad to see him and he go. enjoys it though he loves it yeah. I mean it's great for him because Gavin's you know uh, uh, he's a barrister and yeah. I think it's great for him to do something with his hands and to know that he's really giving back it's absolutely really we have Niall on the line all the way from South Africa hi Niall uh, hi Blonnet how are you not and, and too hello. bad <laughs> And hello, Sharon and, and Dawn. And Dawn Hi, are here beside you. Firstly, congratulations. Secondly, tell me what this is about, because it is a charity with a difference. You want skilled workers, don't you? We, we do. We have 1,350 um, volunteers coming out, as Sharon said, and, and a 1,000 of those are proper construction tradespeople. Um, but a special part of this is that it doesn't have to just be tradespeople. There's 350 people coming from all walks mm -hmm. of life. So really it's an opportunity that's open to everybody to, to partake in. Now, you're aiming for 5,000, is that right? We are. We've scaled up an awful lot this year, and it's down to the help of some very special people, and Sharon Core is definitely one of those. Sharon's been a special part of our life, this charity, for the past five years, and uh, we're very grateful that she's um, given us her husband and so much of his time over the last five years. So, <laughs> really, our, our journey has, has grown because so many fantastic Irish people have become a part of it. Um, I, I'm embarrassed that my name's on the, on the heading because it's Why? not me. Well, it's not me. I, I started oh, a small no. journey that, that you no, know, truly, like on my own, I probably would have been still building 100 houses a year. But the real magic of this is that we, we've, we've had over 3,000 Irish people have travelled, and every one of them have played a part in helping us to grow this, that 
Now we can now say five years later, like it's, it's an amazing year this year that we have a chance to build, not a chance, we're going to build yeah. 5,000 houses this year. And really that's um, incredible and makes it is me incredible. so proud to be Irish of all the people who've, who've made that possible. Well, Niall, if you're proud to be Irish, we're very proud that you are Irish. And thank you very much because, as Sharon just said earlier, it's one thing thinking about it, it's another thing doing it. And you did it. So congratulations to you. And you're allowed to take a bow. And I hope you're well, taking okay. a bow over there. I'm bowing here at the moment. You Absolutely. can't see me. But <laughs> you deserve it. <laughs> Well, the fun this year is, is amazing. We, we, we've no less. Some of the logistics to this are, uh, are, are starting. We've 180,000 bottles of water to distribute in six days. We've, we've 10,000 ice creams. You know, the Irish builder works very well when you give them a chalk ice in the afternoon. Absolutely. And, uh, Nothing yeah, like 99. Absolutely. Well, I was listening to your... I, I, I couldn't see your chef there a minute ago, but I was listening to him, and I wonder would he be interested in coming down. We, we have to butter 6,000 slices of bread every day. Well, there you go. <laughs> well, the gas thing is, Niall, he has the knives. You should see the size of well, the knives he has. Yeah, but, it, but it's too expensive a knife to bring with him to South Africa. <laughs> well, um, listen, thank you so much for joining us today on the, on the phone. Thank you, and I no. know you're really busy, and you're, you're, you're a man with, on a mission. What date do you think or do you hope that it'll all be done? Well, we, we've, this year's trip ends on the 10th of November, but we're already planning next year's trip. And, and I'm hoping that some people watching today, you know, will be inspired enough to perhaps think of, of themselves or a son or a daughter who wants yeah. to come down for one week next year. Absolutely. And well, we're, our we're, we're under irishtownship.com if anybody's interested. And we have that on our website, so don't worry. We have all the contacts, numbers and everything else. Eugene, our gardener, is planning to go out to you next year, but that's another conversation you'll have to have with them. Thank you so much, Niall. <laughs> now, Take I want care. to look and at the best of Look, God bless. Thanks, thanks a million. Donald, and thanks, Sharon and Don. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Don, tell me about this. Well, um, this last is a tree. It is. It's the baobab tree. It's, okay. um, it's very important to the people of South Africa. Very much so. It's um, a sacred tree, really, to the people of Africa. It's also a symbol of the continent of Africa. Okay. And I was asked to do the artwork for the mural um, in the Garden of Hope, which is the first time that we've done a community garden. And I just kept getting this image of a tree of life. It was actually Klimt's tree of life, but I wanted it to have relevance for the people in South Africa. I didn't want to go in as an artist, go away, and then they're left with this, and it had no meaning for them. So I did a bit of research on indigenous trees in South Africa, mm -hmm. and the baobab stood out instantly. So you're going out and you're going to do this. You're bringing your skills out to them. Yes. The I locals know. are going to get involved. Yes, I've asked for local children from the township to come and help. Because I think it's important, important for them to be involved. And, you know, not only is it going to be great fun, and it's such an experience for them, and considering the way they live their life, mm -hmm. but I want them to have ownership of the garden. When do you head out? Uh, tomorrow night. <laughs> so Donna's going tomorrow night. And I'm not packed. Your husband's going tonight. <laughs> tonight, yeah. But you're happy to give him up for the whole thing, for the yes, whole charity. Yes, definitely the for this. Absolutely. Well done. Thank you so much for coming in. You're welcome. Thank you, Donna. And the Thank best you. Of luck. For more information, go straight to our website, rt.i forward slash the afternoon show, and you'll get all the relevant links. And if you have a few bob to spare, give it to them. <laughs>